Good day, good people, and welcome back to my channel. Now, today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are some things that I want to get into. But before we get into all that, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscription button. Hit that notification button and bell so that we can be notified every time I'm dropping a video. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and as always, drop a comment in that comment section. Now, let's get to today's video. So like I said, in today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are some things that I want to get back into and we're continuing to talk about this continuance of this Diddy situation. So I'm pretty sure you guys saw, like I saw, Diddy got online and he decided to issue an apology about the situation, what happened with Cassie and the video that we all saw yesterday. This brother did not say that he was sorry to Cassie. Today, with this stupid apology video, all he did was furthermore piss off people and make it to where you just gonna, we're just, hey, you just basically have nobody, probably, but your children, if you still even have them. And the reason why I'm saying that is because the apology sucked, A, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm just keeping it all the way 100. It was trash, okay? It was definitely ass backward and it was trash. Which furthermore peed me off was remember that stupid post that he had when he was he had, we just had the one that said time will tell or whatever the heck it said i'm gonna make sure it's posted so that way you you guys can see it but you came out and was like enough is enough and i feel the same way as little duval feels or it's one thing to know that you did some stuff and you don't want to admit it but you kept coming out with these stupid posts you kept having your lawyers stock up stuff. The truth will come out and the truth and the truth and liars are just trying to get money. What nobody trying to get no extra damn money for you? You should have paid all these people off. With, uh, with, the little, with the little snippet that we saw yesterday, you damn right. You should have paid. You, you owe way more. You deserve everything taken away from you. You got people like 50 Cent who been going at you for the longest, even before all this started. 50 Cent, Lil Duval, Peter Thomas. Ryan Henry, they all reacting to your whack apology and more, and more. On top of that, you have a lady by the name of Tiffany Red, who now says that she will be suing Diddy, Bad Boy, Interscope, and many more because she has been dealing with stuff like this from their organization since 2015. She is also allegedly Cassie's best friend and said that she remembers the day that all this was happening. And she, when she was told that you paid off, you know, the people, Diddy paid off the people for 50, 50K, she was like, nobody's ever going to be able to see this. And then look what happened today, oh, today. Well, yesterday, really. But you know what I'm saying? Like, the tape was revealed. Diddy's former head of security, Roger Bonds, he'd been telling us for years what's been going on with these people. And he's so upset. And right now, the main thing that he said was he wished, while you up here offering all these apologies, he wishes that Kim Porter was still alive so that way she can get her apology. And it's only... We can only imagine what else you done did to these women. There's going to be more people that come ahead. And I think that all the women who have been dealing with you, they have the ones who have already been out going and telling their stories like the Cassie. And I'm not sure what that other lady's name is. But um, the other lady who's going around and talking about how you, 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 he kicked her in her stomach and stuff like that. Oh, it's going to be a fucking field day. And honestly, like how Kodak Black's lawyer said the other day when he said, listen, they let this video. I believe that they let this video come out. Because it's going to be way worse stuff that come out about him. So they let this video come out almost like damn near an icebreaker. Like, y'all view this. Because y'all ain't seen nothing yet. And I'm waiting for the rest of that stuff to come out. Honestly. One other thing I want to mention. You even had T.D. Jakes. T.D. Jakes on his sermon was talking about how he saw the video this morning. And how he instantly thought about his daughter's. And how he instantly thought about all the women around the world who may be going through a similar, if not worse, situation than this. And how they must be feeling. How that might ignite them. How they might be feeling like they're trapped. And I totally feel them on that. I've never been in this situation. Don't want to ever be. But I pray for those 
This is something that is triggering it, but it needed, it needed, it needed to be shown. We needed to see this. And what I definitely want to say, because I told y'all, I don't want to hold y'all for that long, but it's a whole bunch going on with your boy. And I'm just waiting for more and more to come out. This is the last thing that I want to end it off with. I told y'all yesterday how Slim Thug came out, said some things, and then he had to go back and apologize for the things that he had said because he looked as stupid for calling that girl and saying that she just wanted to go back to a billionaire lifestyle. You know, basically just taunting her and saying that she was, she, was, she was going broke without Diddy. He had to go back and apologize to her. What I want to say is this. If you want to, if you are a celebrity or even a regular person, if you want to forgive Diddy, if you want to offer Diddy encouraging words, then you can do that because you are your own person. You are, you. hey, this is your life. We just, hey, everybody just living in the world. If you want to do that, you can. But the rest of the world would really appreciate it if you would do that BS privately to yourself. You got Kelly Price all in the comments section. We ain't heard from you in a minute, Kelly. And then when we do hear from you, this is the type of things that you want to involve yourself in. You want to involve yourself in this Diddy debacle. Kelly wants to involve herself in this Diddy debacle and talk about this prayer and stuff like that. And I get it. Everybody deserves prayer and stuff like that. But let me tell you something, lady. You should have did this to him on private. You should have sent him a private DM. You could have sent him a text message. You could have sent it to his management team if you didn't have the information. But for you to come out and basically we need to offer our help a hand, sit your ass down. Because the only thing you did, Kelly, was get people now riled up at you and start coming at you and start saying dumb stuff. It, people then took it all different type of ways. And to be honest with you, <laughs> people are making jokes about it. She ain't a friend of mine and saying a whole bunch of stuff of your little stupid songs that you had back in the day. Kelly, don't come out here and say nothing that you know damn well you're not going to be able to d defend and you're not going to be able to win. This this is a situation you should have you should have sent that prayer. Did you not see what we saw? And then you offering prayers to Diddy. Now, once did you say, let's offer a prayer to Cassie, to the victims, to the... You're going to offer a prayer to the person who was being the abuser, not to the victims, the people who was actually going through the pain? What kind of BS is that? So, yeah, Kelly Price got a whole bunch of people in that comment section lighting her ass up as they should. Because this is what I want to say as well. All the men, like the Slim Thugs and all them kind of people, if them people can bow down and say, you know what, I was wrong. Let me go back and say I'm sorry. And let me just shut the hell up because I was obviously was speaking on something that I did not know about. Kelly, what gives you the right to come out here and think that you can put a Bible verse out there and then think that everybody's supposed to be flowing with you and we're supposed to just offer this brother forgiveness? He needs to be asking for forgiveness from Cassie, from uh, Kim Porter, Poe Baby, and God rest her soul. And he needs to be off asking for forgiveness from all them women who he put his damn hands on. That's who he needs to be asking forgiveness for. And you is not, you, you is the wrong person, Miss, Miss Price. You're the wrong person to try to be a spokesperson on a situation like this. You need to sit your ass down and you need to go ahead and go back to where you was and where you've been hiding, wherever you've been. That's where you need to go. But you need to keep your opinions to yourself. So when I saw these people lighting her up in the conversation, yes, yeah, she, she definitely deserves to be lit up. Gonna come out of from hiding. Ain't her Kelly Price in I don't know how long. And you, you this is the kind of dumb stuff you come out with? Nah, Kelly. I'm totally over you. We're over Diddy. We're over... And then I don't think that you understand. It's not even the fact that nobody wants to forgive him or, you know, you just want to be mean or nothing like that. This brother... We already knew he was a certain type of way, going back all the way to be, you know, the, the Harrell days and the Biggie days. We already knew he was a certain type of way. But for you to keep coming out and saying how innocent, how innocent, how innocent you are, and how all these people just want a piece of your pie of the money and all this kind of stuff, that was effing wrong when you knew that you had did wrong. We would have appreciated it just a tad bit more if he would have just shut the hell up. Not had your lawyer try to go so hard and they just want money. If none of this stuff, and if he would have never said they're lying, if he would have just played it cool and just kept his mouth shut, like nobody would be, if people would still be pissed off. Don't get me wrong. People would still be pissed off. But nobody would, it, it wouldn't be like he lied to us. He lied to his friends. He lied to the community. If that's where you want to go, it wouldn't be none of that. But he lied. And then you got people like Kelly. If the men 
who was going with him can admit that he was lying and can admit that he is wrong, then so should you. You should be able to see this. And for the people in the comment section who were saying, Kelly, you were a person that was a part of DV. So I don't even know why you acting like this is a game or like you don't know nothing about this. And a few more things before we conclude this video. You have Peter making more videos for Diddy today currently and basically telling him you have a lot of money you still have some type of power use your influence to try to help you become a better person and peter is saying that he can't judge diddy because he's done so much stuff he hasn't done stuff like diddy but he's done a lot of longer than that which we all have but we're not going around lying we're not going around taking money from people or artists we're not doing a whole bunch of things that are just shady and that has been his whole record his whole record of life has been shady and you also have dr umar johnson coming in the mix and his spill and basically he brings forth a good point we're being distracted with this nonsense this did happen some years ago all the good stuff that you know is being accused and he should have been got in trouble and we're wasting time on it I, honestly we are wasting time on it now with everything that is going on we knew things were going on people didn't want to listen nobody wanted to do anything about it everybody wanted him to keep being whatever keep being the top dog keep keep you know take that take that that's all we was doing we was the ones who was taking it people should have been stepped up and said something dr umar johnson makes a good mark with that and he also makes a good point when he says and it's a good question and I don't know the answer, but would people be going this hard if this was a darker skinned lady? When Kim Porter, we found out that he broke her nose and we all did find that out years ago, nothing was done. A couple of different incidents that have happened with darker women, nothing was done. Cassie's lawyer gets in the mix and makes a statement today. And it's basically like everybody says, and even Peter admitted it, Peter Thomas that is. You're only sorry, you only made an apology video because you got caught. If this video would have never surfaced, we still would have known what happened that day and if you really could have gotten that wild. Nobody still would know. We would still all be in the dark because you wouldn't have came and told us. And it doesn't matter how much you're talking about, you go to therapy and this and this and this, you wouldn't have told us the truth. You would have kept lying. Like how you been doing. This is just sickening and sad. And there's going to be more that follows for sure. Yo, the last thing, absolute last thing <laughs> that I'm going to add to this video before we conclude is that the game, they just had a video drop with a game. And it was on Vlad TV. And he was saying that basically Puffy and Drake was into it. Because Puffy wanted a beat that Drake was allegedly getting or gay or was given. He he got the beat. Him and um him and Diddy were beefing, right? They had a little beef over uh something in Miami outside yeah, of like, uh, I think like I think Diddy allegedly assaulted him or something. It was I think Again. it was over the start from the bottom beat uh, right. beat where I guess it's supposed to go to Diddy and Drake took it and Yeah, uh I mean when I think about started from the bottom, I don't I don't know what Diddy would have did with that beat. There was there were like calls, you know, going around LA and it was like, you know, Drake here, Drake there, who who will run up on him. I'm not saying it, you know, it didn't it didn't, it didn't come from Diddy directly, but LA is LA get tricky. So And he wanted that beat. And the game alleges that Puffy was trying to take Drake's life over a beat for a track a song a rap record yeah when you guys get a chance go check that out on black tv but drop a comment in the comment section let me know what y'all think about all of this and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video respectfully